Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another one minute word of encouragement for the day for today, Tuesday, July 28th. And today's word comes out of Matthew chapter seven, verses 21, 22, and 23. And in it, we have a a kind of complicated uh, quote from Jesus himself that continues our exploration of the relationship between faith and action. Listen to what Jesus says. He says, listen, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name and didn't we drive out demons in your name and and perform many miracles? And then I will say to them, Jesus says, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Wow, okay, so admittedly, this is a difficult passage of scripture, but I think what Jesus is getting at is he's kind of describing the other side of what we studied last weekend. Last weekend, we looked at James chapter two, verses 14 through 26, and we talked about the idea that faith without action isn't even really faith at all. And then Jesus seems to be describing action without faith that is really kind of hollow and empty, right? Because he says, listen, yeah, you did the right things, you know, you you drove out demons and you performed miracles and you prophesied in my name, but you didn't really know me. Uh, and, And I didn't really even know you. And so clearly there is a lack of faith as the foundation of this relationship. He's just talking about people who are going out and and doing things in Jesus' name and sort of sticking Jesus' name on them. They're doing the actions, but it's not coming from a place of faith. And so these are two sides of the same coin. It's kind of like you and I are up on top of a mountain and on one side there's the danger of falling and on the other side there's the danger of falling. And we're on this skinny little path of faith and action. on one side, uh, we're in danger of falling off into this idea of faith without action. And James says that's not even really faith at all. And on the other side, Jesus describes the danger of falling into an action that doesn't come from a place of deep faith. And so you and I are called onto this path of, of living out our faith by expressing the right activity and action and work. It's not that those actions and works will save us. No, it's it's faith expressed through action that actually is the foundation of our faith. And I think that is what the whole New Testament describes as it relates to our source of salvation. That salvation is given to us by grace. In other words, it's a gift of God that we accept through faith. And that faith uh, is automatically linked with our action as we receive the free gift of salvation. So friends, may you stay on that path um, as we stay away from the danger of faith without action or action without faith. And may we continue to walk that path of faith combined with action in a way that brings glory and honor to, to Jesus himself. Friends, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.